Howdy. My name is Casey Davis. I'm a county extension agent for Ag and Natural Resources in East Texas. I've been an agent for nearly four years now, and since this is my first video, let me give you a little history about myself. I grew up raising commercial cattle and horses with my family in East Texas. I went to college for animal science, specifically animal breeding and genetics, and I was blessed enough to find a career combining the two things I love most, cattle and education. In this first video, I wanted to share the birth of a calf from one of my absolute favorite cows on our property, Red Cow 19, as she is called. She's a Beefmaster cross cow, and for those who don't know, Beefmaster is a composite breed derived in Texas from crossing Hereford, Shorthorn, and Brahmin cattle. The purpose of creating a composite breed is to improve performance as the result of hybrid vigor or heterosis. Beef masters are known for their conformation, milk production, fertility, and hardiness. Then along with the Brahmin influence, you also get longevity. Now this cow in particular is a mature cow. She was six years old at the time this video was recorded and was birthing her fourth calf. We still have her today at the age of 13 and still producing. The video begins when the cow is in between stages 1 and 2 of labor, the dilation phase and the expulsion phase. In the dilation phase, the cervix dilates, uterine contractions begin, and their behavior changes. A few examples include smelling the ground, licking their own bodies, and separation from the herd. The tail will begin to raise as well. The water bag is usually expelled at the end of stage 1. This phase can last between 2 and 6 hours. The expulsion phase is when we see the amniotic sac outside the vulva, abdominal contractions increase, the fetus enters the birth canal, progresses through it, and calf delivery is completed. This time frame is normally less than two hours. The next part of the video, you can see that the cow is at the end of stage two and is expelling the fetus. Mature cows typically lay down at the onset of contractions in stage one, whereas first calf heifers might be more restless. Contractions can last for an average of 60 minutes. In this case, it was about 30 minutes and the calf was born. A Minnesota extension study concluded that contractions will typically last longer than 60 minutes if the cow is experiencing a difficult birth, also known as dystocia. Stage 3 is the expulsion of fetal membranes or the passing of the afterbirth. This should occur within 24 hours of birth. In this example, most of her afterbirth is expelled within minutes after she has the calf. On occasion, a cow will have a retained placenta. If a cow does not pass all of the afterbirth, it may require physically removing it. Let's go back and talk a little bit about dystocia. When is it time to step in and assist the cow? You will hear varied opinions on this. However, it is definitely time to step in when malpresentation is evident. This could be one hoof sticking out, a back hoof sticking out, a nose, or any other body part other than the two front feet followed by the nose. A good rule of thumb for when to step in and assist is if a cow is observed in labor for more than three hours. Please note, you should always use your own best judgment and speak to your veterinarian if you are unsure of the situation. Early intervention can have the potential to prevent stillbirths or losing a calf, but intervening too early has the potential to cause injury if a cow is not yet properly dilated. A few questions you may have about what is going on in the video. Why does a cow lick her newborn calf? Well, calves need the stimulation of their nerves and muscles from the mother licking them in order to get their bearings straight and attempt to stand. Or what about, why does a cow eat her afterbirth? There are a few theories on this, but the most probable is it's the cow's natural instinct for predator avoidance, the same reason a cow will hide her calf in the woods or in brush. 
Now, a couple questions to ask yourself as a rancher. What time frame should a calf be standing and nursing? If everything is normal, a calf should be standing and nursing within two hours of birth. It is important for a calf to nurse within a few hours because the colostrum, or first milk, contains immunoglobins and antibodies necessary for the calf's health and digestive system. The entire labor and birth for Red Cow 19, from active labor to a standing and nursing calf, was about two hours. All in all, this birth was a great experience for the cow, calf, and definitely for me being able to capture it on video to use many times throughout the years for education. The rest of the video is of the calf's first few attempts at standing. Thanks for watching!